Hello, Bel Prez and Bel Prez New Hope community and anyone else who's watching. Uh, my name is Sergio Chavez and I'm the Director of Worship Communities here at Belgrade Presbyterian Church. And one of those communities is the Bell Press New Hope Revival, which I have Pastor Alexis Ruhumuriza with us. And this uh, community is an East African community, many of them which are from the Benya Malenga tribe. Um, for those of you who may not know, there is a conflict that's been going on in South Kivu that's getting very little coverage. And it's not just a conflict that's affecting people across the world, it's affecting our family here. So I'd like to bring in Pastor Alexis to talk a little bit about a few, how this is affecting our members here today um, because of the conflict that keeps on, keeps on happening. So Pastor Alexis, if you wouldn't mind sharing just a little bit of how this is affecting you personally and the community. Um, thank you so much, Sergio, for asking this question. And also thank you so much, Bell Press, for uh, watching, taking time to watch this video. So this conflict has been really so hard. Personally, have been affected to me, especially um, I have my sister in Congo. Uh, she has been left everything. Uh, she lived a life without no hope for tomorrow. And, um, and also I have my aunt, I have a family there. And um, that was really so hard a uh, couple years ago and up to right now. And also I've been affected as uh, I am reading the community who have been facing these challenges um, for, for, two, for four years. Um, they have been received so many family members they are dying. Family members, they have been destroyed their house, they have been free, they have been living the life really without no hope for tomorrow. So you can imagine reading the community who are facing these challenges. It required a lot of work, it required a lot of prayer, it required a lot of um, communication and talking and, and being with them. Be with them. Um, recently, so many people that have been received the death of their family member. Well, some of them, they received a picture. People that have fled their homes and they, they don't know where they are. Right now, there's almost 4,000 4, community in Wanyamurenge. They are in a place called Uvira Gegera. They don't know where they are going because the Mai might have been surrounding to them. They can't go back, they can't go anywhere. Just they're sitting there without no water, without no food, without anywhere. So it has been a really tough time, and but we believe in God who can bring the change. We believe in God mm -hmm. who can always supply the hope when there's no hope. And I want to ask you guys, keep praying because our God is bigger than our, what we are facing today. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Alexis. Uh, here at Bell Prez, we want to tell more of this story. So we're going to have some interviews coming out in the next few weeks of people who are Benya Malenga, Noella, and, and others to talk about how this has affected them. As Pastor Alexis said, um, people have seen their family members on in pictures and in, in uh, news footage uh, who are refugees. That's they, they say that's my aunt. That's that's my family member. Um, people have been on the phone with their family members who've been shot while on the phone. It's just been it's been very difficult. So. Um, we want to raise awareness here at Bellevue Presbyterian Church. Two ways that you can help is one, you can continue to pray. Pray for the Benya Malinga tribe, pray for the families that are affected, and pray that God can do amazing things. We believe in the power of prayer. The second thing is you can share this video and the interviews that are coming up. We, we, together we can raise awareness um, because this is flying under the radar. There's so many other conflicts in the world, but this one is affecting our family. So thank you for taking the time to watch this and please share this video.